Hi guys, Sean Pereira from the Great Inner Island Business Chamber here with our gold sponsors, Marsden's Law Group. And I've got the pleasure of uh, sitting down with Jim Marsden today again. 12 months ago, roughly, we sat down with Jim during the Marsden's 50 year celebrations. Today, we're here to talk about the future and what the uh, next 50 years holds. Jim, welcome. Thank you very much, Sean. It's a pleasure to be here once again. Thank you. Jim, putting it out there, you had a great celebration year last year, 50 years. We really saw what Marsden's has done for the community, what an institution your firm is. What we really want to know about is what do the next 50 years hold? What's in store for the community? What's in store for the business world? Sean, firstly, it was a great 50 years, but also, almost importantly, it was a great celebration last year. We had a wonderful time. We got out amongst the community, as we have done for 50 years, but we intensified it over 12 months to get the message out, out there that we have been around for 50 years and we've got 50 years of experience. But while we were doing that, we are sending out a little bit of a message that there's another 50 years to come. And we believe that there probably is another 50 years to come. And when you think about it, the, the um, lawyers that we have as partners at the moment, I've been around for 45 of the 50 years. Right. And I'm not going to be around for another 45. I'd like to think that I could make it, but I don't think I am going to make it. So we've focused over the years on making sure that we get good, grounded, intelligent lawyers that mainly come from the area, not everybody from the area, but mainly from the area to lead us into the next 50 years. And I think we're heading in that direction now. No, I'd say you're absolutely right, Jim. I mean, you're, you're active proponents of chamber and local community organisations. What do you instil in your younger generation coming forward, you know, who are hopefully going to take the reins of, uh, of this firm one day? The reality is that we spend time every day educating our people about the need to provide service, the need to have good legal skills, so that everything that we provide to our clients is of the highest standards. But about 25 years ago, we thought about how do we define the basic values so that we can remind our guys, male and female, of what they are from time to time. And we came up with these four core values which I think typify the firm. The first one is trust. You must be able to trust your lawyer. The second one is integrity. Integrity is absolutely vital in your lawyer. The third one, and this, rel this relates to the le level of service or the quality of service, and that is excellence. Excellence in the way that we actually deliver the law. And the final one, and certainly not the least important, to me, one of the most important, and that is community. Now, if we've got those core values, and at the same time, we're teaching our people about the basics, being grounded and being able to deliver the service at a reasonable price, then we're going to make another 50 years easy. Oh, I think you're definitely right, Jim, and it's uh, clear what you're trying to do there is retain that local talent as well and give them an opportunity to shine uh, in the area of your firm anyway. Um, Jim, also out there, what, what can we expect, I guess, are there any, uh, any big, big ideas on the cards for the next couple of years and you know, anything that you can share with us? So far as the firm is concerned, um, look, I talk to the young lawyers, and this is a really serious aspect about our business. As you know, we started in Campbelltown. For some time now, I've been telling people that it is not about Campbelltown, it's about the whole of the region. And that's coming to fruition. We've seen the growth in Camden in recent years. We know what's going to happen in Wallandilly, and we know what's going to happen in South Campbelltown. So those more southern areas will catch up with what's happened in Camden LGA. And then you combine that with the Eritropolis, and I can tell you this region this region is going to be the biggest thing for the next 25 years, not just in Sydney, not just in New South Wales, but in the whole of Australia. So if we can instill in our young people the excitement about that, then we're going to be just moving forward with it and making the most of it. And also give it a bit back as we do it. Absolutely right. Jim, you've been in business a long time and, and for a long time more. What can you leave our members with as a takeaway point, basically? How have you been so successful? What can you pass on in terms of your wisdom? Well, I, I talked about those, those core values. They were something that my brother and I had instilled when we worked in the pub, that mum, the, where, where we grew up. 
we didn't define them, they defined us. And if you can think about those kind of standards, then the probability is that you're going to be successful. And the standards, trust, think about that. Community, think about that. Delivering excellence, think about that. If you're going to do those kind of things, then it's going to work. And then another thing is to focus on local talent. Um, it's important from our point of view, and I'm sure you and your members of the chamber would agree, to keep local talent in the area. They're as good as the talent from elsewhere. Absolutely. We know that they're as good as the talent from el elsewhere. So if we provide the jobs, and if we keep them in the area, then we're all going to do well out of that eventually. So my advice to other businesses is, is look locally for your talent, set yourself some standards, set yourself some values, and through good times and bad, stick to them, and ultimately, you're going to survive 50 years and go a lot further as well. Jim, thank you. Great words of wisdom there, guys. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for your continued support in Rail and Chamber, and pleasure meeting you again. Always a pleasure to see you, Sean. Thanks, Jim.